1967 Eldorado. Just a beautiful car. It's uh, Monday, March the 9th, 2015, Vancouver, BC, Canada. Yeah, we just walk around, show you how beautiful shape this thing is in. It's got the collector plates, as you can see. And we have all the letters, some letters might be missing, and there's like one emblem missing right here. We've got about three spares, and we'll show you those as well. Here it is, 67 Eldorado, the first year. The best year in my opinion. Um, see the lights work at the front. They go up and down. Let's take you through here. See the interior is in just mint condition. Beautiful. Just an awesome car. Hear the exhaust. Brakes all done, everything's done. that beautiful exhaust the way it comes out so this is true dual exhaust here and you can hang off these things they've been installed so beautifully Here's where it gets good. There's two mufflers tucked away in there. Okay, we'll try to show you that.
Magnaflow mufflers. See, it's a true dual exhaust. The exhaust alone costs thousands. And then we got these things here. These Red Devil, uh, whatever you call them right here at the end. And that's how you get this beautiful sound. You start with the engine. You need the 429 7 liter. And then you got these little, I forgot what they're called. I think they're called Red Devils or something. And then you got the exhaust. Okay, the, just the sound of the car is worth the price, in my opinion. some old gas that's all so you might be hearing a little bit of sputtering there that's nothing look how beautifully these things are welded I mean this is just an amazing car so this is actually we're on the right side of the car here but this is the exhaust from the left side they cross over it's really cool Got to really get under there to show you that. Okay, so you can see the new lines. not much this car is meant to be driven that's we got it in shape for driving you should be ready to just enjoy this car the moment you buy it that's it so we'll just show a little more of the exhaust because that's really the coolest part of the car around the other side of the exhaust too just a beautiful car it's, I mean you can't go wrong with this vehicle at all so we were just down there we're on the passenger side of the car now
Okay, and then we'll just pop the hood open. See more lines here. So we increased the diameter and we made it a true dual exhaust. You'll never find another one like this ever. That's a fact. Okay, so we're in here. We've got the cool flex hoses. See? Whoa, that's a bit hot. It's not that bad. I mean, this really keeps the car, I mean, the radiator never goes, just maybe a little more than a quarter. You can run it all day. You can idle it all day. And the trick here is that yellow dot there, you gotta match it up to the air filter. And when you go for air care, you undo the bolt there and you twist this so that they don't match. And that creates an air space underneath so it's sucking in a lot more air. That's how you do it. You pass air care every time. There's the other cool flex hose down there. Okay. So that keeps this thing really, really cool. Do a new battery in there today. Okay, this is the original exhaust manifold here. Oh, we got the split fire uh, wires. Of course. And that really makes the car nice in the split fire plugs. I always put split fire plugs. Look at this here. So this was professionally welded. It was beat out and then re-welded. They used to do this in the old days, all the time. Good welders. Okay? Look at that. Rock solid. You can see the exhaust coming out of here. Okay, I just, it's just so beautiful. Look at this here. So someone's getting a steal when they get this. I actually have another carb for this, but I'm gonna sell that separately. Cool. Alright? Just hear how smooth this engine is sounds. Okay, this car is better than a new car. Way better. Okay, way better than you. You'll never find a better car, period. Okay, the collector plates, it's all here. The runs like a block. Yeah, you'll never find a better car. And we have the letters and the emblems that might not be on the car. This one's complete on that side. Uh, we have this emblem piece here, no problem. We'll show you in a second when we get into the trunk here after we turn it off. But honestly, you're getting an amazing deal here, an amazing car. Okay, you don't see a 67 car, you know, a freak. Uh, how old is this thing now? This is a 50 year old car almost. And it's just like brand new. I mean, honestly, it's got minimal wear. There's really no rust. See, it's rock. You can see there's no rust. This got dinged at the shop we had it at. Some knob was uh, driving it and 
he clipped something and it crinkled the metal. I didn't want them to do any body work on there. So we just put a new piece here to cover that. That's the only blemish on the whole body. The rest is straight as an arrow, as you can see. And it's just solid. Here they put this mud flap. You can see, okay, there's, it's rock solid metal here. You see some cosmetic little rust coming through, but that's nothing. It's not like, it's just cosmetic, it's superficial. Here's where they had it sticking out of the garage and a little hole developed right about there. Just a little, I don't know, it's a bit rusted here anyways, but this top needs to be redone. But overall, <laughs> the car is in an amazing, amazing condition. Like, you see this is just rock solid metal here. Okay, no Bondo, this is just totally the metal here. I don't know how I could show that, but anyways, that's all minor stuff. Okay, so original paint can easily be touched up with a professional, you know, paint shop. People that know what they're doing, they can totally restore this. Honestly, you want to keep the original paint as much as possible. That's the value of the car. Uh, you see inside the door jams here how beautiful it is. Okay, don't tell me. I mean look at this and this is just still rock solid That's just superficial. That's nothing Okay, GM Okay, it's just an excellent excellent shape in the door jams This was the trim piece that was missing on the driver's side here. So what that's nothing that's easy to get um, You got a handle for the rear passenger, he can let himself out. We've got the main handle here. Only, I think only these controls work, but you'll see, watch this window go in. This is the coolest thing right here. Let's see if I got the, watch this. Oh, that's the wrong, hold on. It's the switch, the switch on the bottom right here. Okay, I just love that. <laughs> the way the, the window just goes in like that. Okay. That is really cool. We'll do the other one from inside. Okay, so you see how beautiful it works. Okay, that's incredible, I think. So all the lights work. Um, what can I say? Let's see. Make sure you see the window going down. Okay. The electricals all work. I'll just take it all the way down so you know there, okay? So that was just my finger. It, it doesn't pause anywhere. It goes up and down perfectly. Just want to make sure you see that, okay? Take the other one in again. Then we'll put them both back up at the same time. Okay, they work beautifully. Okay, there's the inside down here. Okay, it's just in sweet condition. Okay, you really can't go wrong with this car. I don't care what, you can't go wrong with it. So inside here now, you can just see how nice it is. Just all beautiful metal in here all the way through. Nice and clean. Now we're talking this is a 67 and this is nothing you can see real clear it, this is just solid metal it's not rust at all i mean just superficial nothing okay look at how clean that is in here okay you can't beat that and we showed this side maybe not we'll show it right now okay just a beautiful beautiful looking car okay inside it's just an immaculate interior. This is what really sold me when I first bought the car was just the beautiful interior. Uh, just, and it's so easy to drive. And you got this piece here that folds down. Um, this ashtray needs a spring, but you got, an in, you got your own lighter in there, which is really cool. Okay, I just want you to see that. All right. And so this is nothing, that's easy to fix. And what else? 
in here. Watch this. Okay, now that's really cool. Got the cigar ready for you. Okay, and the lighter in the middle. It's just a cool car. Okay, that's all. It's very cool, this car. Okay, the keychain. Cadillac, Eldorado. I mean, this is a car that you want to have. Okay, it's a keeper. You can't really go wrong with a car like this. Okay. There's some hoses under here that have not been connected right. Those hoses there. Because what's supposed to happen is when you, as soon as you turn the engine on, the emergency brake is supposed to release. So somebody mixed the hoses up, but it definitely works because it does. <laughs> it was working when I got it. Here's the switch that bypasses the radiator. Uh, it just It's just on off, it bypasses the climate. You listen? Okay, so it just turns the heater on and off right there. Now it's off. Okay, so that's easy. That's about all you need to know. We've got these nice things here. Still working, barely, I guess. No, <laughs> so it's really nice. Like, I mean, you see the roof here, it's all intact. This is original, okay? This is like really, really nice here, all right? You can't go wrong, okay? No rips, nothing. I think this seat has a little rip in it right there, okay? That's it. Starts starts there, and it's there. Just just a little, but it's nothing. You you know that's minor. I mean, you're talking. It's almost 50 years old. Usually these things get tattered by then. So um, we can go look in the back now, if you want, for a second. But you just see, it's really cool. It doesn't have the ugly headrests that ruined the view. It's already such a lowered car that, can you imagine if you also had, it just, it would be ugly. It just, you wouldn't, you know, the people in the back wouldn't be communicating nice with the people in the front. I'm just so glad that it doesn't have those headrests. And now we'll just show you real quick. Uh, <laughs> when we got it, it had the black dice hanging from the mirror, but we left these ones on here. We'll just do the windows here. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I didn't close that one all the way. Hang on. Let's open these ones. Make sure you see that they close all the way. Okay. And then this one here. Okay, you see they go down. And... So that's that. Um, so I'm going to turn it off and then we'll go have a look in the trunk. But actually, I want to show you the temperature. It's been idling for some time. And look at the temperature. Okay. You can let it idle all day. And you're not going to go past that. That's about what it stays at. So that's really good. You can see the fuel. It drinks gas. It loves drinking gas, of course. So everything's here. Okay, it's just a beautiful car. Okay, you can't go wrong with this car. And the radiator has been recorded. Um, we have the other part of it. We'll show you in the tank. We have for the AC. It goes in front of this one. Okay, it's a very, very heavy lid there.
Okay, so we're still recording. Here's the original air filter here for this car. And what you need to do here, because it's so constricted, look at that tiny opening they put here. Okay, that's a joke. What you have to do so this thing can breathe better, you have to drill some holes in the back right here so it won't show. Drill about, you know, two, three rows of holes here in a space like about that wide. Just drill a bunch of holes, really nice, just to make it look nice. And that way it'll be able to breathe properly. It just can't breathe. They've really choked it when they put that there. And it's just not good for the car. This is for a Corvette, this air filter. It's the only one that fits. And it's those kind that, the k and N, yeah, you know the old k and N air filters. The really good ones. You just put some oil in them. And they're supposed to last for like years and years. Okay, so this is the K&N filter, brand new, and it's, it just fits right in, so you don't need to worry. This will work just beautiful. Um, so that's that. Got that right in there for you. See how nice the trunk is? You see it's really solid, no worries. Okay, and this is where it was leaking around in there, but you see, it hasn't really affected anything. That's the most it was able to do. Just some superficial staining. And you see that's rock solid. Nothing has happened to the car at all. So it's just in perfect shape. So don't need to worry at all about rust and things like that. I'm not sure how to, oh yeah, there it goes. Anyways, those are the original cardboards. Yeah, I see how it's got a seal over there. But, so the spare tires in there. Uh, this is the, this has been redone. This is for the AC. So, okay, you're gonna wanna install that maybe. You have it ready to go. Um, we've got this little no-name manual, right? Well, the Chilton manual. And then of course, we have the original the original service manual I'm going to show you here. Okay. So this is the original that you would have at the shop. Okay. It's a nice, big, thick, heavy book. This is worth at least a hundred bucks, I'm sure. Okay. Every, everything you want to know about your 67 Caddy is in this book. Okay. If you like working on the Cadillac yourself, you know, you have to know how to raise these things because they're very front heavy and they could just tip over and there's certain spots where you want to do it here's stuff about the tranny and stuff so okay this is a really important book to have with this car and now we'll show you some more goodies right in here we have uh, the letters for the car okay so we'll just dump those out here all right so was missing a few letters and you have them all here a nice set of letters okay the R the L I think there's enough to spell one time El Dorado maybe yeah E L there's a couple L's so if you lose a letter down the road you'll have extras it's always nice to have these things yeah, oh yeah, you almost got two sets here. Eldo Rado, here you go. Okay, so don't be alarmed that you're missing a couple letters on one side of the car. You got them all right there, and you got some to spare. Okay. All right, so lots of extra letters. Um, got a couple extra emblems right there. Okay, you're going to need those as well. Okay, this one goes, I think it goes right there. Okay, so don't worry, everything is complete on this car. There's nothing to worry about. Yep, the lights are on because the brake pedal 
kind of needs lubricating so you have to tap it to undo it and I don't know what else is in here some other goodies so that's the main thing I wanted to show was the letters oh this nice chrome uh, right here we should have had that on we'll put that on the car we had that ugly orange one we're gonna put this one on yeah that's way nicer looking don't you think yeah okay in the bag here this is where it's really got to get good okay show you a few things here yeah those are the photos we took to get the collector plate so that's there the original manual that goes with the car that's what you're going to want to see here hang on Wow, how about that? Okay, have you seen anything like this? I think that was, that was one more. There. So these are all the books that go with the car. Okay. How do you like that? All right. <laughs> Check this out. So you got this brochure. When it comes to accessories, Cadillacs helps you get a little personal. Isn't that cool? Look at those nice gloves there in the purse. You can get very personal inside this car. Look at this tissue box you could have bought for this car. Look at that. Okay, so we have all the things that you need to know about this car. The history. Like, you're not just buying a car. You're buying a piece of history here. Okay. Vehicle warranty. I mean, honestly, there it is. Woo, the original warranty too. How about that? The original owner's name right there. Okay. Did we go all out here or what? Come on now. <laughs> this is great. Okay, I think we're looking at it inverted or something. But you can definitely see we've got something going on here. Okay, the original warranty stamped on a metal plate. Okay, Richard Namies. All right, here it is right there. Validation report. This is just unexpected for, uh, for a car this old to have this. Okay, this is unexpected. I'm telling you. Someone's really getting a good deal here. A really good deal. Probably kicking themselves for whoever bought that 68. <laughs> After they see all this, I'm sure. So this is original here. Uh, see if we'll get that book out for you. Okay. There it is right there. The owner's manual. You go try finding one of these. Okay, you're not going to find it. All right. Just a beautiful thing to have. Look at this and tells you everything about the car. Okay? You really can't beat this. This is a real score to have this. Look at that. Everything about your car. Beautiful old pictures. I could sell these separately for hundreds of dollars, I'm sure. Look at that. Just look at that. Okay? Everything is here that you need to know about this beautiful car. Oh yeah, the bench seat as well. It slides. You can even angle the seat. Okay, so we've got a lot of goodies in this car for you. Um, let's just show you the bench seat. Oh yeah, actually we have the piece that goes there for the driver's door right here. Okay, it just broke, that's all. But it fits right there. Hang on now. Get that in there. For Whoa, sparking. Not very good to see that. I don't like doing that. Whoa, okay. We'll just leave the light out. <laughs> we don't want to cause any problems. But you see that piece goes right in there. Okay, so don't worry. We've got all the trim is here. Nothing to worry about. So I just wanted to show you some of these other trim pieces here. We've got for the doors and this little piece there. So there's very little that you need to get for this car. And I just wanted to get that last little bit of film in there. Okay, a couple of spares of these. Okay, have a nice uh, time browsing. 
And this is where all the books are in here that came with the car. Again, the shop manual, the Cadillac uh, here, little book there. The K&N air filter that's from a Corvette but fits the Caddy perfectly. And don't forget you have to drill a bunch of holes in the back surface there because it can't breathe very good the way it is. And this is why it can't breathe because this is too small. The stock was too small. So I just want to remind you again, if you want to drill some holes on that back surface there, you know, just a nice little patch of holes. And that won't affect anything at any collector show or anything like that. You don't want to be, you know, leaving it choked like that. It's just not right. Okay. So there you go. To show you how nice this thing is, the hood here. This is all original paint. This sounds beautiful. Nice and solid car. They don't make them like this anymore. Whoa. Now to show you how beautifully it just lights up. I just love how this car starts. Again, remember we said we have that piece. So we have all the pieces for this car. We even got this little piece that goes right here. The only thing we're, we need is this middle piece right here, because the two end pieces are there. And we have the emblems for here. And uh, Okay, you see it's right there. So again, it's just missing this middle piece right here on both sides. So all these end pieces are here, but it's missing this middle piece, which is nothing. You can easily get that. And of course, we're missing just this one piece right here with an end piece. So all you need to get is one, is two of those middle pieces, one end piece for here, and this one piece there, and you're done. You'll have everything for this car. We have all the letters for here. Okay, no problem. We have a couple sets almost complete of the letters. So we have the missing ones. And yeah, that's the caddy for you. Just an amazingly beautiful car. We were using that mirror earlier. Okay. So yeah, you just see it's still rock solid, but you see it's starting to get a little rusty under there. That's nothing. Um, okay, so that's just the mirror on the ground here that we were using to film the exhaust underneath. Okay, so there it is inside all the way through. Okay, it's just a beautiful car. It just honestly, you cannot go wrong with this car. Look at these doors, they look like brand new. Okay, how can you go wrong with this thing? You can't. All in here, just beautiful. Isn't it? I think so. Okay, so. This side here. Okay, when you want a cool car, this is it. I don't care what. Okay. You don't have to do anything to this car. It's ready to go. Let's just pop the hood up. Got a, I know. Hang on. Freaking heavy hood. Tried to do it left handed, but you can't do it. Okay, so it can be done with one hand. Not that easily. Don't recommend it. But 
Again, you see the beauty of this engine, the beautiful exhaust, the battery's dying. So just gonna give a quick run around through here so you can see finally what's going on. The whole car zoomed out. Okay. It's a lot of car here. <laughs> so we'll just close it up a bit. I wanted to show you how it starts real nice. Just check this out. Listen to how nice it starts. That wasn't quite a lightning start, but it's all there. I'll just turn it off. Okay, this is how I like cars to start. Okay, see that? It's beautiful. Okay, that's how a car should start. just purrs. Look at that. Okay, you really can't beat this. 